Okay. Okay. All right. But I was able to print one, so that's nice. All right. Okay, guys. So, uh, are you guys at least a little bit familiar of how your guys are set up in this world? How do you mean? Okay. All right. So, I guess I will do a quick overview then, just to kind of let you guys know. So, essentially, you three are part of a society of adventurers called, aptly enough, the Adventurer Society. And you guys are basically requisitioned by the guild or hired by outside clients in order to do uh, quests and tasks for them. And you are doing this on the world of Arbidet in the uh, lands and regions controlled by the guilds. The other two guilds of Arbidet are known as the Company and the Explorer's Brigade, Explorer's Brigade. And they are both allies and enemies and competitors in the adventuring uh, business. The other thing to note is that you guys are mainly based inside of Anoferfell, which is the largest town inside of the Guildlands. Uh, this is primarily run by the three guilds themselves, with senior members basically serving on a council. Uh, they make most of the decisions for the, uh, the region that you're in. The other thing to note is there is the presence of what is known as the Fourth Guild, which is not an actual adventuring guild, but is rather the police force, basically, the military force of Anoferfell that keeps peace. Although the guilds are the main source of military might inside of Anoferfell and the Guildlands, the Fourth Guild acts as kind of an intermediary. They deal with, you know, policing the town of its the town itself policing side of the force yeah like they could they can easily bolster the military and stand next to the guilds but their main function is just to keep law and order since that would draw a lot of guild power to do so and they have to keep the adventurers in line as well okay so that gives you a general overview of it and you guys when you start this out are actually going to start at your guys's favorite tavern all right. Oh yes. no, an adventure starting in a tavern. <laughs> Sounds like where have I me. seen this before? This <laughs> this particular tavern is the favorite hangout of all of the adventurer society, and is known as a fairly raucous place. Known as the final adventure is what it's called. All right. So, if we're all ready, we can begin. Is everybody all right? Got your water and everything, or do we need a couple more minutes? Somebody got to go to the bathroom. I am actually going to grab some water now that you mentioned that. Okay. You're in break. <laughs> you like my Dragon Master costume? <laughs> uh. Cultural lore and natural lore. So we do that. Many ranches. All right. Okay, what about uh, Kaz? I think he, we're still waiting on him a little bit, I think. Okay, now, do you three have tokens that you would like me to use? I do not, but I can pick one, I guess. I do not have a token. I have lots of tokens, I just don't have one that... It... Okay. Well... Since you guys are still fairly new, we can go ahead and just put some placeholder tokens if you would like. Sure. Could give you some of those. Uh, did you have a particular one that you like, John? Or you want to use Graham? Or... Yeah, I was thinking about that for now. Okay. Really we'll go ahead and grab Graham then. Obviously, his stats are going to be wrong, so, you know. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put okay. down Graham. 
we will okay. give ownership to Larry and to Streamview so that they can see as well. Okay. So you can see him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So feel free to rename him as you want to. All right. What is your, what's your race, um, Acleus? I'm a human. You're a human? Okay. So let's see what we can do for you. Tokens, humanoids. Uh, what hair color or anything in particular? Uh, I'm preferred. I mean, he's a monk, so probably shaved his head, I would think. Okay. <laughs> That's not really necessary. Anything human works for me. Okay, let's see. I try and find a... We're actually going to give you... We're going to give you a dwarf token, actually, and you can just rename him to be whatever you want. It's just a name. Oh, that works. We're going to give it to Acleus and stream view again. So just double click him and then you can change his name. So and then I'll try and find. Uh... Oh, okay. Cool. What else do we have? Uh, has Kaz gotten back yet? Yes, I'm back. I'm sorry. All right. Um, what? I'm trying to find a token for you here, Kaz. That way you can move around and stuff. The Kazent is ready. All right, so we'll I go ahead and use... Though, yeah? um, no, because it has oh, different sure. properties on this one. It's kind of screwed up. So just kind of play with it, you know, like roll your d20s and stuff. You guys can make uh, dedicated tokens on another one because I'll give you okay. access to the map and stuff. That's what I figured. Okay. So let's see. Where is a good token for a rogue? Jeez. You'd think with like these hundreds of tokens that I have that I'd have something that kind of speaks <laughs> to me. That's just not the case sometimes. <laughs> Ooh, too loud. Ooh, too loud. Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what, we'll do this. Uh, do you want a beard or not? Pause. Nah, I'm, I'm good without the beard. All right. Oh, we will give also, you... it says it's an NPC. I should change that to PC, yes? Yes. You should. Jeez, why are all these things, like, female? <laughs> <laughs> what about inspire that? inspire more female characters. Yeah, that one looks terrible. <laughs> Damn it! I know I love me them female characters. Who doesn't, man? Yeah. There we go. We'll use that. Delete, and we'll go ahead and name that Cosent. That is. And I'll we'll give it to Streamview and Cause. All right, there you go. So you guys see your tokens, right? I'll go ahead and enforce your view, actually. You guys can see them just in case you didn't. Perfect. All right. Uh, so each of you has control of your characters, correct? Can move around and everything? Verify? All right. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's start this up then. So this one, this adventure is called Cleaning Up the Slums. Okay. <laughs> All right. I like it. You find yourself and your friends spending a day at your favorite hangout. The final adventure was, a bo or was as boisterous as ever this day. The sky was blue when you entered, and it would probably be gray when you decided to leave. The new moon was a long way off, and you had nothing but time on your hands. Seriously, nothing but time on your hands. Your gold was quickly running dry on a combination of bad luck and gambling, drunken expenditures, and really a lack of work headed your way from the guild offices. 
The acts today had been particularly terrible, and broken glass was scattered on the stage from an outward shows of displeasure the crowd had shown for their efforts. Just when it looked like the place might liven up with a good tavern brawl, the wooden doors swung open. Adventurers turned casually to see who stepped in, and immediately quieted upon seeing the lion-colored cloaks of the Fourth Guild, the police of the city. Everyone was stark quiet as they, as they entered. This shifted to immediate booing as soon as the leader of the small patrol took to the stage. It was in jest, but the patrons knew as well as the fourth did that they should not enter the final adventure without business. The officer called for silence. Quiet out there. Listen to the word of the fourth. Then he unrolled a sheet of vellum. In a haughty voice, he declared, This, lads, is an official contract under the fourth to do a service for the city of Anarfafel. I, Sergeant Silvano, am here to recruit any band of you miscreants that wishes to have the honor of assisting us in clearing out the western slums. We've been having reports of robberies near the slums. I know, I know. These usually aren't that big of a problem. It's too, I know it's not too uncommon or unbelievable. Especially for a bunch of dirty meat guzzlers like you. But I digress. However, there's been murderers now. We're looking for some disposable, I mean, fine, capable arms to take care of this. We're a bit too busy handling the big boy stuff lately, if you know what I mean. And we could use some special helpers. Anyone? anyone to take upon this task. Many of the people are booing at this point and want to hear none of it, but it kind of intrigues you, and quite frankly, your coin purse is getting a little light. What happens if we just say no? I'll let this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have other quests lined up. I, mean, but... I have 20 gold pieces. Can I just buy some drinks? And... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Please, uh, fourth, good sir, go on. He says, I'll tell you what, I will be waiting outside if anybody is willing to take upon this assignment. And he promptly goes out the front door. So if you guys want to interact with him, you can do so. Alright. Uh, honestly, uh... the guy sounded kind of like an ass. But we could use a job. I mean, you uh, recall? I say I have twenty gold pieces, but that's not that many gold pieces. I like to be a little more comfortable in my pockets, so exactly. I, I might, I might look it up, and see how what kind of work they got. You never know; might be fun. I mean, it couldn't hurt to go ask the guy for more information, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, sounds like there might be killing involved, and I was. Appreciate a good killing, especially when it comes gold Don't at the end. Take care of their lazy, dirty work, though. <laughs> Come on. As a lawful right off the bat, Larry sounding a little bit like he's working for the company now, <laughs> rather than the Adventurer <laughs> Society. <laughs> but okay, don't worry about it. Let's try. It. <laughs> yeah, let's go talk to him. Let's talk to him. All right. So you go outside and you see Sergeant Silvano sitting there with his cronies, just relaxing for a bit, smoking from a pipe. And he goes, he goes, I take it that uh, you three look interested over there. Uh, perhaps you would like more information on this. I'd be happy to answer any questions and get you to sign a contract immediately with the fourth. Contracts. <laughs> you know that contracts are very common when you're talking about guild work. It's just to um, basically lock it in that you're the people that are going to do this. Um, make sure it's understood how much is going to be paid. You know, that way you have documentation if they try to screw you out of your money, essentially. Yeah, you can never be too careful of the fine print, though. Can I, uh... That is true. I do have military lore. Can I check over this contract and make sure it's, uh... Well, first you would need to... Era? First you would need to talk to him and find out what the information is. Uh, and then I'm he would present to you... Okay. Okay, so what are you asking about exactly about these contracts? I'd like to know what the job is before. 
Okay, well, then you would, could go ahead and ask him any questions that you desire regarding what this task is. Only he has the information on what it is, so. Couldn't hurt to ask. So, he asks if you're interested, I say, what is this job that you have? He says, well, as I mentioned in there, we've been getting reports of attacks all around the slums, and quite frankly, no one is talking to us for some reason. Why don't you boys shake down some information? I don't want to dirty my hands on the filthy street urchins, and you guys got people on the inside there, right? I mean, I shouldn't have to tell you boys everything, should I? This guy's really not making it easy on us to accept his job. There's, that's the point. He's a... We gotta, we gotta have scumbags in the campaign every once in a while, you know? Somebody oh. to toss in the line of fire if someone in the fourth needs to get killed, you know? Oh, his <laughs> problem, mine. All right, Once again, well. my temperament will, uh, I, I don't, I'm not easily bothered by the likes of, of him. I mean, you know that the fourth, a lot of the fourth are really like dicks and assholes like this, just because of who they make, like who makes up the fourth more often than not. But um, this is nothing new to you. Like you've dealt with this before and you've also thrown plenty of fourth out of the final adventure before. You know, like it's just... All right, so what other questions do you have? What's the pay, good sir? It says, well, straight to the point, I can see. Well, you can keep whatever loot your sticky hands scoop up on these books. I'm the in. fourth, the fourth <laughs> con... <laughs> shit, I'm a train of source now. <laughs> says, right, I'll take it. the fourth contract is set for 100 gold coins. Doesn't 100 fists sound like a tidy sum? And you do get to keep the junk. I mean, treasures you find. Oh yeah, the contract is only good for two days, including today. You can't solve the issues in that time? Well, I guess there's always guild laundry that you could do if you can't hack it with the big boys. Silvano ends the statement with an obnoxious laugh. <laughs> uh, what, um... Give me the damn contract. <laughs> What, is he, what, do you, what do you expect us to find when we go here? He says, what he's asking you to do is he's asking, well, he's essentially asking you to investigate and then stop the murders that, been hap or murders that have been happening in the Western slums. I would add your right. name to a list if I was literate enough to make the list. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's, do it. Well, let's get the contract. I'm so Sam, my barbarian education. Right. Are there any other questions that you have about the mission, or if you would like to he consult anybody so in the finer? Deep. I'm all in. And because I'm trying to help you guys out, because some of you are newer to role playing, you can also go into the final adventure and ask you know people you know if this sounds on the up and up as well. Hmm. Durag, yeah. the owner and bartender of the place, is a former adventurer and really high standing with the Adventure Society. So, I mean, he might be able to give you a tip or two. Now, if there's anything a monk would do, it's dive headfirst into an adventure before thinking it out. <laughs> 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 so. <laughs> I mean, shit. Perhaps we should return back into the tavern and uh, maybe uh, see if we hear anything. And uh, Okay. To use a pun, meditate on it. <laughs> All right. He says, well, I'll be waiting here for the next, you know, five, ten minutes, so do hurry back. So if you would like to, probably you know, and everybody at the Final Adventure knows that. If you need somebody to talk to, it's Durag. Durag the bartender just knows he's been an adventurer for way longer than anybody else at that bar. Let, like, the only people who have adventured longer than him are the people that are in charge of the society. So, I mean, he's kind of the guy to talk to about these things. So, I go up and say, Durag, what's happening, bud? He goes, hey, what can I get you fellas? Another couple flagons of mead? Maybe one. Those fucking jerks outside, you know. <laughs> well, speaking of the jerks outside and the mead... Uh, my mead money has been running low as of late, and they offer a job. I want to know what you think of it. Uh, you want to know what I think? I think he's a pompous ass from the fourth. But, I guess that's not what you're asking exactly. 
I'd say the whole thing is fishy. I mean, why would a bunch of street toughs start killing people at random? I think the people killed had to be in on something, or they saw something they shouldn't have. In any case, I say take it. Guild tax free revenue is always nice. Though, maybe you could talk Silvano into a better cut. Also, I'd say maybe ask some of the basic questions. You know, what have people seen? Who was attacked? Where are we supposed to go? Anything to kind of get you on your way. Your wisdom is great. I wish I had common sense to think of that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're new at this. Let's do that. <laughs> we just started our little adventuring group, all right? <laughs> Gotta take some shit jobs before we get the good stuff, all right? <laughs> Lots of that purple stuff. All right, so that's all Durag can really tell you about what he thinks about it. All right. Well, I think we should go back out there, tell the guy we're going to take it, but ask for more than 100 gold, because he's, uh, he's shafting us on the price. I mean, 100 gold is a little bit uh, on the I poor mean, side. I, I already have 20 gold. Hundred gold fist hundred gold fist is a nice tidy sum, but they are asking you to possibly commit murder. So I mean And they're saying, you know, there's been murders, there's probably a conspiracy. Um I mean, there's always a conspiracy. <laughs> there's one thing a monk would think. <laughs> it's I want more money. <laughs> and let's haggle over a hundred gold pieces. <laughs> Alright. Job. Okay, so you go back outside, and sure enough, Silvano's sitting there, wise cracking with his fellas. But uh, the douchebag's still sitting there. Is it weird that I imagine him with like a hacky sack? <laughs> <laughs> I see it. All right. So, what are we gonna do with this guy? What are we gonna say this or tell this yeah, Joker? Them, right? Or ask him. I'm gonna I'm gonna say if you want us to take this job, which we're interested in, can you tell us more about the circumstances that these murders were happening? He goes Well, as for who was attacked, I mean, as I said in there, it was mostly homeless rabble, and I've heard that even some of the street gangs in the area have been targeted. Whoever these guys are, these Burks don't care who they piss off. Normally I'd say good riddance, but Lieutenant Kincaid thinks otherwise. Like, from what we've been able to gather from what people have seen, what little we have, we have very little they want to share with us. We would think it's a new gang, since the old ones are being targeted also. The rats, I mean, people are scared. And they're in on it, I think. Not sure which ones are, though. Because, as for how they've been dying... Well, probably the most interesting feature of the case is actually. Normally I just ignore these common cases. But I must admit I'm a bit intrigued by this one. Well, most even if a great member of the fourth is intrigued, surely. <laughs> most of <laughs> Most of the victims were put away quick with a knife or a club. Every once in a while, though, there were some with bite wounds. Dogs, we think. Some little street urchin we found bloated and a bit of green in his skin as well. Oh, fuck. Never did find more than a couple minor poke holes in him, though. Definitely not enough to kill a man. <laughs> Guys, shit's gonna hit the fan real quick. You guys know that, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, Alright, we in? I'm in. I'm good. Let's just get a beer first. Okay. Show us the contract, right. then we're going back to Getting get beers beer. before IRL. we go. <laughs> so did you guys... So gotta listen up for the job, right? Taking... To remind you guys, Durag said that they might be stiffing you on the payment. Mm. Oh yeah, I said we should definitely ask for more money, though. Yeah, okay. Sorry, we wanna ask. So beer. go ahead and... If you want to, you can ask for more money. But you have to do that before the contract is signed, because that's yeah, where I their wanna, money I is now. See, I want to see the contract, and I want to tell um, 
What's the guard's name again? Uh, it is not a guard. It is Sergeant Silvano. Sergeant. Please have mercy on me for mistaking the... your illustrious rank. <laughs> um, what, uh, you, you said a hundred gold pieces. Hundred crap? Uh, or hundred fists, that's correct. Let's say... That's not bad at all. Let's, uh, go ahead and sign that. Hundred each. Yeah, hundred, a hundred per... Uh, uh no, maybe you're, right. maybe you're missing out. A hundred fists total. That's not even going to cover our costs to get there, man. Yeah, you got to think about it. You do realize, really you do need to remember that it, there's a little variance, but essentially a copper piece is like a dollar. So 100 crowns is actually quite a bit of money to a like, normal person. Even at level 1, that's still quite a bit of change to be tossing around. Well, I got all my equipment with uh, almost about that much. So. Yeah. Well, if that's 300 is too much... As a monk, I believe in the middle way. Let's go with 200. He goes, <laughs> hmm. All right, so we're going to have our first contest. And what I need you guys to do is it's going to be a charisma check, which is d20 plus your charisma modifier, and you're going to be opposing his wisdom to sense motive. Nice. I got this. Plus my charisma. And Silvano, modifier. who is... I'm a very a lackluster. Minus one, not plus. Okay. Silvano, who's a lackluster detective at best, is going to get a plus two on it. You said charisma, right? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, he's going to be hard to convince. <laughs> These numbers aren't helping. Well, he gets the fucking oh, three, and we all get less than ten. <laughs> Even if all right. Rolls a 20, I, I will mention. Remember that you don't need to necessarily roll yourself. You could aid another and cause that person to gain advantage. Oh. All right, well, Would one of you like... <laughs> well, we didn't roll enough to aid. Well, no, no, it's, it's not like that. You just elect to aid. So basically, you would forego yours. Okay, and then now you would pick basically the person with the most charisma and have them roll two dice. That way it helps you out a little more. When you aid another, they get two dice instead of one, and then they pick the They get dice. advantage. That's correct. Nice. So let's compare notes. So who has the highest charisma? I only got... I mean, I... It'll be I difficult to beat this, so but... Uh, not gonna be the might as well try to help you. Okay, so you're all plus ones? All right, so let's get that third roll. That's cause is the last one. Oh, yeah, my bad. So you're doing d20 plus your charisma mod, which was one. Let's get that 20. Wait, did you have minus one or plus one? Plus one. Plus one. Oh, he has the highest. Oh, shit. Oops. Oof. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, wait. So we, uh, we elect to aid him? Yeah, so he gets a second. He gets to pick the highest. Okay. Second. Well, one right. of you... We didn't know. Okay, yeah. Acleus, well, both Larry and... Uh, or rather, Larry, since he... Is Larry a negative one? Oh, you're both at plus zero. Okay, yeah. So go ahead and aid another. So do another roll, cause. But you only get advantage once, so like, yeah, like he can't roll three dice. Right, he's only gonna do it. Okay, yeah, so yeah. one more time, second, give it a shot. That twenty. That twenty. Is he coming? Come on, roll, it, roll it, re-roll it. Gotta get that lettuce money. <laughs> Them cabbages. Just hit up, and it'll have it on there. The last one. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we are, since it's a new system also, I'm going to try to help you guys out where I can as well. All right. It's a 5% chance. So, Silvano goes, uh, listen, I know what you guys are trying to say, but 100 fists is more than enough that you guys should be happy with this. And let's face it, you guys aren't exactly the top of the adventuring society either. I'll take 105. If we die, then you don't even have to pay us, so... He says that's true. All right, let's take it. So and I can find we... real adventurers to do it then. Oh, shit. So if we do it, then we obviously would be worth the gold. Keep in mind also that you are keeping whatever spoils you do find. <laughs> my friend, my friend. Guys. It is little shirt off of your One back. Dirty <laughs> in your hands is such a soil. You guys have... Job. You guys have... Whole session I, 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 listen, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm. I want to kind of speed this up. You guys have tried, and you have failed to get yourself more money out of this. Okay. That's what the check was for. Okay? Okay. 
But he once again directs you and says, well, a good place to start asking questions will be at the Western Slums. So that's kind of your first, destina or first destination. All right, let's do I it. I swiftly so, mount my trusty steed. All right. Just oh, you have a mount? You have a trusty steed? I have a trusty Bullshit. steed. Oh, okay. I'll I get you a trusty steed real quick also. So give me a sec. Bullshit. His name is Mr. Horsey, the trusty steed. As long as he's trusty. That's his, that's his actual, like, that's his legal name. Mr. 